Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. And today I'm going to be reviewing Dice Smith and Spotted Dice by Benka Smith and Andras Bartazzi. Before we do this, the usual, please like, please subscribe. It makes a huge difference. Please comment below because I answer the comments every Thursday at 5 UK on a live show and or as many of the comments as I can. And check out cardmagiccourse.com if you want to learn from me. If you like this review show, you will love my course. There are hundreds of videos, live sessions every week and new footage regularly updated. It's grown and grown and grown. It's huge and uh, I'm sure you will love it. Have a look at the testimonials on the site, cardmagiccourse.com. If you want a free course, a free extensive course on one move, the spread curl, which is one of the best moves in card magic in my opinion, go to cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull, C-U-L-L, and you'll be able to get that course for free. What about that then? Go for it. Uh, in a minute. So first came Cubesmith. Then came Timesmith, and now we have Dicesmith. So just as a little bit of background, if you haven't, very, very quickly, if you haven't watched the other reviews, which I presume you should, uh, well, I reckon you should, they are, well, presume, <laughs> I presume you should. Uh, so uh, Cubesmith is an amazing Rubik's Cube app. Uh, that was Benka, and then Benka and uh, Andrash collaborated on Timesmith. So Andrash uh, created the watch, the SB watch, which went with made alongside and with in mind of the Timesmith app and they're still being developed, they're still doing amazing things, that's all happening and doing incredible things with time. Um, and Andrash created Peaksmith, which I'll go into in a different video, but that suffice to say we'll be talking about it in a minute with this. And he created these dice, so spotted dice, in conjunction with Q Dice Smith. <laughs> It's really confusing, doesn't it? It isn't confusing. I'm just making it sound confusing. It's actually quite simple, Stephen. Uh, so these are very, very, very magical dice. Now, there have been routines with dice. There are other dice available. Some of them do work with Dice Smith, but I have not um, reviewed them or played with them, so I can't really comment on them. But as with Time Smith, these dice are made for this app. So just know that know that so if again if you you'll have other dice that work but these are made and are still being developed uh, and you know as, like i've mentioned the aftercare before uh with this app in mind so what does it do well first of all you don't get that i've got them in that because that's this cost me like six bucks from um uh from amazon and and it's got a little i'll put that there for a minute got a little compartment in there which is quite cool but they do come in a lovely little bag so the basic route, I'll run through the routines. You've got the app that you get free if you buy the dice, but if you haven't got the dice, you buy the app, and all the links will be below at everything you need. I'm going to look at my notes, because this thing does so much, and I keep forgetting. And I've played with, again, I've used this a lot. I've, played, I've had this for about a month, and I've, I've played a lot, a lot with it, so I've tried everything out. The basic routine is you get someone to roll the dice, and you know what numbers they've rolled, okay? Which in itself, it's, they call the basic routine. That's a miracle, isn't it? That routine right there. Um, they roll dice, you're not looking at the dice, clearly you've got your back turned. Uh, and it, depending on how you do this, you could even have a blindfold on because there is a, uh, an auditory earpiece thing you can use, but you don't need that. Um, as long as you can see something, so you're on stage, you can see a readout, you can see, I think it's completely fine to say that at this point. Um, you can see what numbers are facing that participant, even if they're at the other side of the stage or a different part of the room, which is incredible. Or you can get a, an instant total. Now, I know that you could just add them up quickly, but you, if you do it a different way, it just gives you the total. Or, <laughs> and there's lots of ors, these spotted dice, unlike some of the others, have also got movement sensors and an adjustable movement sensor, which means in the app you can change the sensitivity of the center. So you've got the dice in front of you and you say to someone, right, put one in your pocket, it will tell you what one they've picked up. Put another one in your pocket. So you can do these lovely routines where you can say, right, you put the black one in your left pocket. Could you say put any one in your left pocket? And, and again, I've done this and I've performed that to family members and they're just no idea. Incredible. Then you've got Kurutsuki, Kur oh God, sorry. I always get this wrong, it's, it's terrible. 
Karatsuki, which is the based on a Max Maven idea, Max Maven idea, where you um, you have a bag full of let's say four white balls and one black ball, and you you got a blindfold on, you're not looking, and you get all the people to pick a ball each, and you know what person's got the black ball. So that you can do that with dice as well, and you can decide any dice. So you can, the white dice could be the the dice that you know what one they've got, or you can do a routine where you know who's picked up what colour. Um, let's have a look again because there's just so many of them. You can uh, the dice order, so the order of the dice that are picked up. It just goes on and on, and within those, you've got all the loads of different things you can do. Once you you get how it works, and it is pretty simple. Once you get it, there's just there's a lot there, but there isn't actually lots to remember because it it kind of is very intuitive. You you know you look at on a screen and you see dice and the one that's it just tells you everything. Uh, there is another routine which I mentioned on the time so app where you can set the time, use it with the watch. So you, you roll the dice in many different ways and it uh, affects the watch. So And more being developed. This is a constant thing. As I said, these, these people have no work-life balance. I don't know how they do it. But not, as well as developing the apps, they, the apps, they are... <laughs> so I'm developing an act at the moment. Um, the apps, they are constantly doing the aftercare stuff on the Facebook group. So if you have any questions, you, you always get help. It's just incredible. I don't know how they do it. So it, all that stuff is amazing, isn't it? And again, like I said in the Timesmith review, we do have to be a little bit careful. It's really amazing, which means we do have to sort of put some performance into this stuff. It's very easy to go, roll the dice, you've got a two, roll the dice, you've got a three. And yeah, it is going to blow people away, but you've got to create some meaning out of this. Not meaning, but you've got to create some presentation, I think, to almost soften it. Now, that's easy, isn't it, really? All you've got to do is perform it and talk to someone and put some, put some uh, premise behind it. But that's the only real... There really isn't Sorry, a negative... I couldn't hear what you said. That's my voice to... My, <laughs> my watch talking to me. So, like I say, after my watch has rudely uh, disrupted my flow, there really isn't much bad to say about this. It does incredible things. You know, to the thing, you know, a lot of people I know perform the thing with a very expensive single dice, but they say to someone, right, put the dice in there, whatever, whatever number facing up. You decide what faces up and I'll tell you what number it is. Open your hand and this is the number that's facing up. It's just, it's amazing. Also, you can, you, know, you can buy two dice, three dice, four dice, whatever you want to do. You can also buy a blank dice. Uh, which again, you can put anything on any face because you can see what, what one's facing up. So you could have colours, a colour on each side. You can have a symbol, you could have an ESP symbol you could draw on there with a, perma with a, um, like a whiteboard marker, not, a, not one that comes off, but you know what I mean. Um, it, th th it's pretty much endless. And they have created something that is, again, is really robust. Now, if you've got Peaksmith and you don't, all you need to do is be able to see your phone, which is pretty easy if you've got your back to someone. Do you know what I mean? I've, I've done wiki tests and I've been stood there like that and nobody knows any different. But if you've got a Peaksmith, um, that is just, it's so quick to, to, it just pops up. You know, the minute it, it it's almost like it's not Bluetooth or something. It's, so, it's that quick. Uh, and you can see like that they're picking up the blue one. It says blue, or you can see what order the dice are being rolled in, or the numbers just pop up in pretty much in real time. There's no delay at all. And it's again, it's robust, it's trustworthy, it's not failed on me. Um, and with Peaksmith, you can just pop it in your pocket and just see it. It's, it's incredible, and you can palm it you know, in your hand. I just think it's... These guys are real miracle makers. And with great power comes great responsibility responsibility for us but what I like about it also is the versatility you're not getting one effect you're getting these dice that incidentally aren't really big aren't weird they're just normal looking dice and they can be you know you the way you wash them is with a damp cloth you, they're not there's no holes in them there's no way to get in there they can be handled freely they can be thrown you know as normal dice can be and they do this stuff and there is a joyous feeling when you just see them connect I'm looking at it now and I'm doing that and they're just changing in the number it's just, <laughs> it's just brilliant and we have to be so careful with this that we don't just sort of splurge it out, uh, out there and tell everybody because we don't want lay people to get their hands on this. It's too good. So it's kind of a hard... There's not much more to say. It does all that stuff and it does it very well and it's very well made and, and you, you would absolutely love it if you got them. Again, it's an investment. This is not cheap stuff because it's, it's made to the highest kind of quality, really. Um, the app, the aftercare, the way it's explained, everything is, is there for you. But there's my review of Dice Smith. I'm just going to check if they're... 
no, the, that's that's all, all there. That really is all there to say. It's brilliant um, and highly recommended. One of my favourites. And, and, and incidentally, by the way, there is a there's some new playlists um, below the video. Steve's favourites, um, Magic for Under $25, which this isn't, <laughs> of course, uh, and lots of other stuff. So check out the playlist as well if you like Magic Book Reviews. They're all in there, the live Q&As. And, uh, and thank you very much. So thank you again for Andras and Benka for sending me these to review. Uh, thank you for watching. All the links will be below. Please use them. The information will be there. And, uh, and take care of yourselves. Please check out cardmagiccourse.com. Get your free spread cull download course on cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull, C-U-L-L. And, uh, and have a great one. Any questions, let me know below and we'll look at the questions every Thursday at 5 UK. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.